It was so good to see so many of you in Miami at the Aesthetic Society meeting. For me, it was a joy to participate in a live meeting, but probably more than that, seeing my friends and colleagues. So glad to see that we're slowly getting back to normal. The June issue is here, but before I get to my five choices this month, wanted to let you know that we have two supplements. The first is the much anticipated supplement on fat grafting with guest editor Summer Hansen, and the other is the annual statistics of the Aesthetic Society as a supplement of ASJ. The podcast is Dr. Graham Glass reading his own paper on photomodulation. The first two papers are both on breast. The first is an international contribution from the Netherlands analyzing the self-reported symptoms of patients with breast implant illness. There are two discussions by Dr. Marissa Tannenbaum and Terry Moak and by Dr. Ruth Graf from Brazil. The second breast paper is a 10-year follow-up study on gel-filled breast implants. Both of these papers, I believe, are significant papers, and I would recommend all of us reading them both. My third selection is from the body contouring section. We regularly discuss abdominoplasty and its risk of DVT, VTE, and this paper looks at the effectiveness and any side effects of rivarobaxan as a prophylaxis for VTE with abdominoplasty. Dr. Vasilakis and Hunstad present their experience with 600 abdominoplasties. From the cosmetic section, I have picked a paper that deals with safety of injectables looking at the position of the angular artery around the mouth and any changes with aging. This is a significant paper related to safety of injectables and there is an excellent discussion by Dr. Magnuson from Australia. My final choice is from the behavioral sciences section looking at the question whether a patient with a pre-existing psychiatric diagnosis has a higher risk of complications following plastic and reconstructive surgery. Don't miss the excellent discussion by Dr. Sara. That's it for June. Look forward to getting together again in July.